Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Tidbits of Faith with Father Romans. We're here in St. Bridget's School Gym, and our guest this week is Jim Mitchell. Jim is co-chair of the Parish Pastoral Council, among many other things that he does for our parish. I'll let him explain that. What do you do for our parish? Uh, just a few things, just a few things. I am a, uh, an extraordinary minister of the Eucharist. I've been doing that since I was in college. I was able to do that coming into St. Bridget. Um, I was involved in the merger transition team uh, with Lynn Creek, kind of been attached to the hip with Lynn Creek for the past seven years. Uh, with the merger transition team, with the pastoral council, um, with during COVID when we were doing the uh, sign up sheets and keeping people, uh, keeping the numbers under control in the yeah. church, Lynn and I did that together. Um, I also do uh, part of the offertory ministry. Um, once a month, we usually count. Um, uh, you love it when there's a second collection. I love it, yeah. yeah. And even, even, a, even something else. Or a third. Or you give us some mail yeah, to do, yeah, and yeah. you know, it's wonderful. It's just great. <laughs> Lots of fun. Yes, you and Lynn really uh, guided bringing our three parishes into one family uh, back in 2017. We certainly could not have done it without either of you. And the gifts and talents and leadership that you brought to that process made my life a lot easier. So a personal word of gratitude. Uh, you know, we're here because you are a lifer. I would yes, say, of yes. St. Bridget Parish and now St. Bridget of Sweden Parish. And your faith has meant something to you, you know, exercising your faith even in college, serving as an extraordinary minister, and still doing that and still being involved and having your wife involved and bringing up your kids. And so, what is it about the faith? What's the tidbit of faith that gives you inspiration <laughs> as you're walking this journey? You know, I was thinking about this, and you mentioned a, a lifer. Um, I was baptized in 1966 here. Thank you, Father Romans. We actually found the actual date. Um, so if this anyone has, wants to know their date, I'll be happy to look it up. <laughs> so this has been my home uh, for forever, really. Uh, St. Bridget Church and St. Bridget of uh, Sweden Parish. And uh, ever since uh, the first 21 years of my life, I lived within a half a mile of this church. And growing up, my mother would always tell us when we had problems, take your problems to Jesus. He will help you. And because we live so close to the church, she encouraged us to visit the church and sit in the church and, um, and talk to Jesus. And you're there with him in the church. Uh, and that meant a whole lot to me. And, that, and to this day, I will still come here and go into the church. And if I'm lucky enough, I'm the only one in there. It is truly a beautiful experience to sit in the church, in a quiet church, by yourself, just you and Jesus. And sometimes I go there with a plan, like I have things I need to take care of. Sometimes I just stop in without any sort of agenda. And what will happen is the agenda will come just between me and Jesus. And it's uh, truly, truly wonderful. So that's my little tidbit of faith. I would encourage anyone to uh, take advantage of the fact that the church is open during the week till four, every day I think till four. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a chance, stop in. It's, it's life changing. It's, it's, uh, it's a wonderful gift that we have. And I would encourage you to take advantage of it. As we would say, you know, you need to spend time with your wife or your husband or you need to spend time with a good friend face to face and have a conversation. So we need to with Jesus, too. And so your mother is very uh, wise in her wisdom, <laughs> yes. uh, teaching her children that from early on. Shout out to Barbara and happy belated <laughs> birthday to you. And we give thanks that you brought up your kids to be so good as uh, Jim is such a great leader here in the parish. And till next week's edition of Hashtag, be, uh, I did it again. Till next week's edition of Tidbits of Faith, we ask God's choices, blessings upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go take on the day, everyone.